Hi everyone, Zen within me here. I'm so excited to share my oracle cards with you. I finally got them in. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a showcase video, so here we have it. All right, initials, traits, and features oracle cards by Zen within me. All right, so let's start off first with some of the letters. These cards give you initials of people or letters to describe a person, place, or thing that connects you to your person or situation. They can also give you timing, such as days of the week, month, or numbers, okay, as you've seen me use them in my readings. Traits and features are self-explanatory. These oracle cards are not just for love, but for anything in your life where you will need specific details about a person or situation. Purchase info is down below in the description box. Check out my YouTube channel, Zen Within Me, for free weekly readings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, peace and love, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And as you know, the topic is who is watching over you and what messages do they have for you? Okay, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. <sighs> Guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Who is watching over Scorpio? And what messages do they have for Scorpio at this time? Who is watching over Scorpio? And what messages do they have for Scorpio at this time? Okay, who's watching over Scorpio? And what messages do they have for Scorpio at this time? Okay, so first card we have out here is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so somebody's feeling exhausted, drained, at their wit's end. Um, but they're still going to keep going. Okay, so your angels and your guides are seeing that you're in a time that you, you're just ready to let go and they don't want you to. So I'm seeing like they're going to be holding you up as you feel drained and exhausted and you're ready to give up. So, okay, who is watching over you and what messages do they have for you? Okay. Okay, so the hanging man here. So, um... Some of you may feel like you're in a, in a suspension right now. You might feel like things in your life are on hold, which pff, don't we all feel that way at this time with COVID. So you're, you're feeling like you're in limbo. Um, you might be having to make a lot of self-sacrifice at this time. Um, this could also be why you're feeling drained and exhausted. Um, I'm getting, for a lot of you, it's more like mental stress because you're in limbo here and like the, the not knowing is what's driving you crazy. But we have the page of wands coming through here. So there's going to be some kind of communication, whether it's phone call, text, email, a letter, whatever it is that you're waiting for, some form of communication, you will be getting it in. Okay. So these are the messages that they want you to know. Don't give up. Okay, things are a little wonky right now. You, you know, you feel like you've been waiting forever. It's driving you crazy. But the message that you need is coming. Whatever it is that you need to hear that you're waiting for is coming. Okay, so that's what they want you to know at this time. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be the last shuffle. All right, so we have one more card here. And it's the Knight of Wands. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, this is um, something that someone or something in your life that you've been dealing with on and off. Um, this person may have been in and out, but this is communication that's going to be coming in quickly because the Knight of Wands is also fast action. Okay, so if this is someone or something you've been on and off with, you're going to get this information soon. Okay, this communication, this contact, however it resonates with you, it's coming in quick. Okay. Okay. So let's see who, okay? So I'm gonna to go to my deck and I have the link down below if you'd like to pre-order it and I will give you a free gift if you pre-order. Okay. Who is watching over? Scorpio at this time. Who is watching over Scorpio at this time? So you have guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. Let's see who is watching over you at this time. 
Okay. Okay, I'm actually feeling these two need to be together. JD, if anybody has a JD, or it could be a DJ, however that resonates. Um, now, I'm not going to get into the names. I'm going to let you do that um, because this is a general reading. The possibilities are endless as to, you know, person, place, or thing of what this is. Um, so I'm not going to say too much, but I will say what comes out the most. So I'm also getting Knoxville. I believe that's in Tennessee. I'm hearing Knoxville, Tennessee. So we have KNX. You also may have an X that's watching over you. I'm also with uh, WVG here. I'm getting um, somebody might be from West Virginia or just Virginia. Okay. So D, J, K, I'm also getting joking. Somebody likes to joke around a lot. Um, but this can also be an ancestor that has passed, uh, like an Aunt DJ or something like that, Uncle JD, somebody from Knoxville, Tennessee, um, however it resonates with you. D, J, K, N, X, G, V, W, okay? Now, let's go and get some angels here. Angels and spirit animals. Okay, so let's see what angels and spirit animals are with you and watching over you. These cards are also not just to give you information on who your guides and ancestors are, but this is also to give you information as to the messages that are here. So um, sometimes the Knight of Wands is also a change of residence. So if this is a change of residence, you may be moving someplace else, perhaps to Knoxville, Tennessee, or um, with G here, uh, like West Virginia, I was getting before Virginia, you know, it, it could be anything like that, okay? Okay, so we have Kangaroo, be a force for good. So we have Archangels Rokiel, Gersisa, and Sandalfon coming through. Okay, so there are some angels that are watching over you and guiding you at this time. And you have the spirit animal of the kangaroo. And a message of be a force for good. So where you might be angry and frustrated because you've been waiting, still be a force for good. Don't let that anger and frustration out. Okay, and then we have donkey. Keep your heart open no matter what. If you're dealing with the love situation, Archangels Mary and Gabriel are coming through for you. Okay, and with the spirit animal donkey, for some of you, don't feel like an ass, okay? Okay, hyena, dare to be different, Archangel Jophiel. So when I said joking, hyenas, they laugh a lot. So I love the connection there. Um, dare to be different. So where you may want to be doing something with uh, comedy or just having a, a good sense of humor and being lighthearted, um, just keep doing that. Dare to be different. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What other messages do we have for you? Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio from their guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels? So we have some angels coming through. We have some letters to describe your guides, your guardians, your ancestors, initials locations, lots of information and details here for you guys. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, thank you. Okay, wisdom. Act with wisdom and people will respect you. So again, with donkey, for some of you, when you, like I said, you might be frustrated, you're ready to act out. Don't act like an ass, okay? Act with wisdom and you will be respected. I know you, for some of you that are in that energy, it, it's easier to just let it out. But in this particular situation, you have to just be very careful with, the how, with how you behave. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my messages from Heaven Deck and let's see who that's passed over would like to reach out to you. Okay, let's see, because that might also be one of your guides and your guardians, your ancestors here. So who would like to speak to Scorpio? What messages do you have 
for Scorpio from those that have passed. Okay, we have been together in dreams. So you may have dreamt about somebody here. I'm getting, it may have been a very pleasant dream, a nice conversation. Somebody may have been teary-eyed with this dream visit. Okay, I was met by so many loving people. So if you have an, uh, someone that passed that you're worried, you know, did they go into it alone, especially if it was a COVID situation and, you know, they passed alone in a hospital, they want you to know I was met by so many loving people. So they really weren't alone. I am with the rest of the family. Okay. And life is a series of choices. They're telling you to choose love for whoever this resonates with. Okay. This is coming from your loved ones. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? From their guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we have Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So those of you that may have any kind of daddy issues, release it. It no longer serves you, okay? You need to heal from that. Any other messages for Scorpio? Yes. If anyone's asking a yes or no question, we have a yes here. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so let's see which legendary lady is guiding you at this time. Which legendary lady is with you and guiding you at this time? Okay, which legendary lady is watching over you and guiding you at this time? Well, I think that was like a block of cards. Let me let me see. We have a uh, yeah, we have four that came through here. So we have at our goddess, balance, Bridget, inner peace, I'll get to these in a second, Tish, luck, and then we have Quan Yin, compassion. Okay, where's my book? Okay, so we're going to start off with at our goddess. Okay, let me uh, hold this up for you guys. Let's see these beautiful cards. Okay, this is Sumerian. The first no known mermaid in recorded history, Adar Goddess, is guiding you to look for balance in your time, your environment, and within yourself. As a teacher, Adar Goddess asks you to seek new ways to bring more balance and care into your life. Okay. I'm going to move on to... Bridget. Love that red hair. Okay, so Bridget is Irish. Bridget, the goddess of love and light, is bringing you a sense of peace and serenity. If you've been going through something difficult, you'll be through it soon. Perhaps it's time to start following the trail of blooms she's leaving behind. They'll guide you to a joyful rebirth. Okay, now we have Quan Yin here. Compassion, this is Chinese. Goddess of mercy and kindness. Quan Yin is a favorite for altars because she brings pure compassion into your life. When she appears, she shows you mercy and gives you the love and support that you're seeking. Follow her example and be more loving with yourself. Can you see that? I'm sorry. I was veering off. My mind, uh, my arm has a mind of its own. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. R S T U V. All right. Here we go. Taish. Luck. This is Greek. Tish, Taish, I'm not sure. Goddess of luck, Taish, is in your corner. She's appearing before you as a sign that your timing will be exceptionally good right now. So seize the opportunity. Okay, then we have something around here that's something about timing. No. 
I think, oh no, that was joking. Timing here though, that it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Okay. All right. So those are your messages, Scorpio. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Check the link down below if you want to purchase the Oracle deck and get a free gift. I'm also doing an October giveaway. That info is down below. I'm also on Wizio where I'm offering different services there. It's more one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with me. Um, as opposed to my zenwithemi.com website where you can just purchase your own personal readings and spell work. Um, so check that out as well. It's all down below in the description box. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.